In today's video, I'm going to explain to you guys how you can make a Hollywood color grading every single time. Now, this both applies for photography, cinematography, and just whenever you do color grading. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this color wheel. And I'm going to explain you in details basically what this thing does. To make explanation simple, basically this little color wheel shows proper combinations of colors. Very simple. Whether you have two colors, three colors, four colors, basically with the arrows, this thing kind of stupid proof shows you the accurate, basically, color palette. Now, I'm going to demonstrate you how you can apply this thing in real life and why is it important to have this thing on you every single time even if you're a professional colorist or just a photographer so what I'm gonna do I have three pieces of paper right over here and I'm gonna staple them together and I'm gonna show you how we can approach this thing okay so we have three colors over here baby blue yellow and kind of pinkish so let's refer to our color wheel and here's when where this thing comes very handy so i have let's say baby blue as my primary color so i'm going to rotate this thing to let's see baby blue right over here and i have three colors total in my composition you can have four but let's do three so i have blue okay check we have blue i have we can see arrow going to yellow. I have yellow. And from yellow we have red. The problem is we don't have red. So this is where idea of this thing is very handy. In your color application, it's very simple to change this pink to red. Therefore, now we actually have accurate color representation. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell you're talking about? This is like complete nonsense. Well. If you take a look at professional Hollywood movies or high-end portrait photographer or cinematography, you can always see this thing being used to determine basically the mood of the scene or in general atmosphere of the project. Now this is very accurate method and that's why basically what separates amateurs from the professionals because they not necessarily carry this thing with them all the time. So I'm sure a lot of professionals know all this stuff. But if you're not sure, it's always nice to refer to this. That way when you're on set, you know exactly how to place your color to create a proper composition. And basically this is what separates a lot of amateurs from the professionals. You can take a look at any amateur photography or cinematography or even color grading. And you can see that a lot of times amateurs don't know how to put colors properly. So you look at, you know, indie movie and a lot of times it doesn't have that flow. And basically a lot of times why it doesn't have the flow? Because the colors that have been chosen are not necessarily represent or basically translate the feel of the project when you have something like this or when you actually know this because you know when you do this for a while like i personally know everything about this thing so i don't really need to carry it with me but you know i still always do in my backpack just in case basically i can create a proper composition making my photography for example or whatever i film to stand out either from the background or just in general to create proper atmosphere now it's very important for you guys to understand that this kind of stuff is essentially a pinnacle of the creative art it applies for paintings for photography for retouching for photoshop basically for everything the proper color theory is essentially everything in this particular craft so i'm slowly gonna transition i'm, I'm not gonna stop doing you know the venture resolve tutorials but i'm gonna start doing photoshop tutorials and we can see i'm gonna be applying this kind of theory in depth basically and you can understand in more details so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and i'll see you soon